Okay, this time we're going to do step four of the sales and distribution case study. We're going to create a customer inquiry today. Uh, a customer inquiry is a non-binding request from a customer uh, for a price. So in this case, what we have, we have a customer that wants to get a price on some bicycles. We're going to go into the system and try to come up with a um, uh, an inquiry quotation to go back to them, again, that's non-binding. So we're on page 13 of the PDF. We're going to go to Logistics, Sales and Distribution, Sales, Inquiry, and again we're going to create. So double left click. Whenever it comes in, the inquiry type is uh, IN for inquiry type. Sales organization, this is the East Coast of the US, US UE00. Distribution channel is going to be wholesale. Division is bicycle. Once we have this in, we're going to click on continue to move forward. That takes us to page 14 of the PDF. We're going to go to the sold to party. And in this field, we're going to go ahead and open it up to get us an inquiry. Uh, what we're doing now is we're trying to find the, the person that we're going to be giving the inquiry to. So this is the customer that you've already created in uh, step one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we need to go back and find this customer. We're going to do it with your search term. You remember putting in the search term that you had before. Mine was 051 because that was uh, the three digits that I was using. And then also with this search to be able to help narrow it down, we're going to go ahead and put in the city because we know we put in Orlando as the city uh, as well. If you forgot to put in Orlando, um, it's not going to pop up because what we're trying to do right now, we're reaching back into our database and trying to find anybody that has a search term of 051 and a city of Orlando. Okay, so I clicked on find. It comes up, it tells me this is my option. This is me. Yours is going to look different. Uh, when you get to this though, you can go ahead and now uh, double left click on it. That brings us in and now we have a create customer. Uh, create inquiry rather overview. We're on the bottom of page 14. We're going to go to alright so once we double clicked on it we actually have finished up page 14 now. As a matter of fact you should see this new screen that we're looking at here. We're on page 15 of our um, PDF. So at the top of the page there you should see that the, we are looking exactly like uh, um, the screen that we have. Alright, so in the customer reference number, we're going to once again put the your three digit code. Mine is 051. Whatever you learn, hyphen, whatever it is, put in there. Okay. Under the customer reference date, we're going to put today. Um, and for me, that is June 3rd. So we're going to continue. Now then, the next thing that's going to happen is when we do an inquiry for someone, it can only be valid for a certain period of time. That way, we don't give them a, an inquiry and they come back a year from now and say, we'd, we'd like to have that price. Uh, so you have to have a valid from date, which once again is going to be today and then a valid to date which needs to be some date in the future um, and a good one to choose is about a month in the future so because you don't want it to last too long so our valid from date our valid to date is one month uh, past our uh, valid from once we're into this point, now we're ready to start looking up our bicycles. 
So we have our valid two from date and our valid two dates in there. Uh, next step it tells us to do, we need to go in and we need to search for the material that we're looking for. So down here in the materials block, uh, one of the things we can do, we can pull up a search. And under material, uh, ma and make sure you get this in there correctly, because on the bottom of page 15, it tells us we're going to search for material using our three-digit code again, but it also tells us to put an asterisk in first. Asterisk in SAP is the wildcard, uh, and it says basically if you put that asterisk in there, it says anything, any stretch of numbers, letters, whatever else, and then your three numbers, mine is 051, is what I'm going to search for. So again, if you don't know what's going on, asterisk will get you in and says any material that starts with something and ends in 051, go find it. All right, so I click on find, and what I'm looking for right now is I need to go in and find, I've moved on to page 16, I'm looking for the bike that is DXTR1 and then my three digits. So you see here, I'm going to double left click it, it brings it in, once I bring them in, I'm looking for a quantity of five of these. So I'll put five in. Now let's go ahead and come back down here. We're going to do the exact same thing now for the professional touring bike. So we're going to look it up. Again, asterisk, your three digits, find it. The deluxe touring bike, I'm sorry, the professional touring bike is PR TR1 here, that's the black one. Double click on it. I'm looking at two of these. All right, hit enter. It didn't. Okay, it, uh, the internet just slowed down for a second there. You saw the, the bubbles pop up. So anyway, we have them in there. Uh, now then we have uh, an expected value of 6,420, even though we know the price of these bicycles is, is higher. So. What's going on? As a matter of fact, the, the, if you look on the bottom of page 16, it tells you that the cost of these seven bikes really is uh, 21400 However, our expected value is 6420 And the reason for that is there's this uh, point of uh, what's the probability of sales actually occurring. And so what we're going to do is let's go look at the probability of a sale happening. It tells us that we're going to so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here we're going to update the probability of the sale actually happening so again we're on the bottom of page 16 we're going to select both items click on it a little check mark comes on then we go to the item conditions icon under the item conditions icon we're going to go to sales A and in sales A you'll see on the top of page 17 this is what we're looking for in here is that we have um, the very bottom right now it has a probability of 30 percent and so what we're trying to do from a sales perspective we're trying to say uh, what's the odds that this sale is actually going to happen um, 30% is what's been programmed in there before. However, this customer now, you really think that there's a, a better chance that they're going to buy from us. We're going to switch this now to a 70% chance um, of there being uh, this order. And once we put this in here, we're going to go up and see if we can go to the next item. 
Next item is the other two bicycles. Switching this to 70%. Okay, so we've updated to 70% there. We, we can save our inquiry. All right, and once that's done, you should notice that you will get an inquiry number down here on the bottom left uh, that you'll need to write down your inquiry number because you're going to need that again in the future. Okay, that is the, uh, that's what we're trying to, to get accomplished there. So uh, that's all we have for step four.